Well, where do you start with that one? Newcastle United, uh, a classic game. I know people will be disappointed with the defending and other aspects of it and the fact that Newcastle, you know, threw away the lead twice and it's newly promoted Luton Town coming here. But that game was just everything you want to believe is good about coming to St James' Park. Thrilling and exciting, uh, but again, the disappointment is there in equal measure. Um, you know, you couldn't argue with the way the game started. Sean Longstaff put Newcastle ahead, 1-0, and you wondered, was it going to be a day where, you know, they do rack up a few goals? Well, they certainly did that, but uh, Luton Town had their own things to say in this match. And, you know, they got back into it at 1-1. It was a bit of a shock to the system for Newcastle, but, you know... They recomposed themselves, went 2-1 up, uh, Longstaff getting a second. And then after that, uh, really, Ross Barkley got a grip of this game and, you know, pulled the strings really in midfield. And, you know, it was him who got the equalising goal at 2-2. Um, and the two teams went in at the break level. But the second half, you can't really compensate. Newcastle started uh, in sleepy fashion, really. Luton going ahead after winning a penalty. Dan Byrne pulling his man back, and, and Carl Morris doesn't miss. Uh, plenty of tension around the penalty kick. <laughs> Has to take it twice, scores twice. Newcastle 3 2 behind, but then they're absolutely left stunned uh, at 4 2 down. And then, really, it was all about the fighting spirit from Newcastle. Um, did come back into the game. Kieran Trippier hauling them back in it at 4-3. Harvey Barnes gets equaliser 4-4. And then you think it's all set up for the for the win for Newcastle, the finish. You know, the dramatic ending to the game. You're hoping for the roof coming off at Gallagher. Uh, but it wasn't a bean. It was actually Luton who looked like the team capable of, of winning it in the in the dying stages. They couldn't manage it themselves. But it was just a just an unbelievable game of football. I think when everything dies down, that's what people will look back on this game. You know, Newcastle, defensive questions will be asked and are already been asked. Um, but overall, fighting spirit, you know, was never in short supply. And if Newcastle can show that attitude in the second half of the season, then they've got a good chance of a, a strong finish in the second half. But really... There are concerns, you know, Newcastle conceded three against Forest, three against Man City and then four against Luton. So defensively, you know, that team that was rock solid last season, that ended up finishing fourth. You know, the same same players, they couldn't couldn't manage it. Um, and I think really, they haven't been able to manage it all season in games. The game management has been questioned, but ultimately, when we all look back on this game, I think we'll see. We'll remember it as a, as a classic. It'll be a Premier League classic, but one where the disappointment is there for Newcastle fans, and they've now got to move on to to Nottingham Forest. There's still everything to play for in this season. Let's not forget that. You know, it's so tight, tightly bunched with the European um, places, and nothing's beyond Newcastle really because they can still put a run together. They've still got the FA Cup as well, but the players are trudging away here disappointed down it's been a bit bad injury for Anthony Gordon leaving here on crutches twisted ankle so that could be a couple of weeks we'll have to wait and see and I thought he was he epitomised Newcastle's attack and play in the first half but overall I think people will be talking defensively they'll be in the pubs and clubs now looking back on this game um, but really You've got to give a bit of credit to Luton as well, I think. I think you do. As hard as it is to come here, it was, a, it was almost like a cup final for them. They were looking on the pitch before the game, taking it all in, and then they went out and put a big performance on. So lots to, to look back on, lots to reflect on. Uh, Newcastle will leave here ultimately disappointed. Um, and it's, you know, two points, two points dropped really in some ways. As I say, the fighting spirit side of it, it's a point gain. So, a real humdinger of a game when we look back. But ultimately, 
just one point on the board, one point from six against Luton this season. Um, room for improvement, uh, but as I say, still plenty to play for this season.